Hi guys, today I am going to be doing a review on the Caran Dash Pablo pencils. I have bought the set of 120, which is the largest set and it contains all the colors. And they come in a metal box. So, the box contains of three trays. Um, I have used the pencils already, as you can see. Um, top one just lifts out easily. Then you have another tray here that has plastic here so you can lift it up. And then there is the bottom tray. As you can see here, they offer two different kinds of black. This one is the darkest in my opinion. It's the ivory black. I enjoy the fact that this set comes in a metal container compared to the luminance that comes in a cardboard box. I, however, don't really like the fact that the lid doesn't open, um, so it's flat, but it's kind of tilted instead. Because actually the sets uh, fit perfectly inside the top lid, so it's annoying that it's tilted and not flat. And this is just the back side. It contains the logo that it's Swiss made. Um, it says top quality colored pencil with soft water resistant leads, excellent light fastness, 120 colors available individually or in sets. So here you can just see it compared to a polychromos and a luminance pencil. Um, it's pretty similar to the polychromos in size of the pencil itself, it is a bit thinner. And the design of the pencil, it contains the name of the color, um, as well as a number, and then a light fastness rating. And here it says, permanent color, Pablo, Caran d'Ache, wish made. I always appreciate when companies write the name of the pencil color, as well as a number. I sometimes have an easier time remembering the number itself um, so that's really neat I think. The light fastness system goes from one star to three stars and three is the most light fast. As you can see there was only seven pencil who had one star and one star with still good light resistance so overall these pencils actually have quite a nice light fastness rating. They have the color itself painted on the outside. I found in a few cases that it wasn't a total match, but it's pretty close. Okay, so now let's test out the pencils and see how they work. I decided to draw this cupcake because I often find that purples can be really hard to hit just right with the pigmentation and then the brown because I do a lot of animal portraits and I am going to be using a lot of browns. To begin with, in general I love Karen Dash and I'm trying to be impartial but I pretty much have loved everything I've tried from them and here again the design is amazing. There is no flaws to the design of the pencils, to the package and the quality of the pencils themselves. I experienced not a single breakage, um, not a single uncentered core. It was in general a really really high quality. When it comes to the shape of the pencil, I am mostly used to round barrels. This hexagonal shape isn't something I am super crazy about. Um, one of the plus things is that it doesn't roll off your table, but I work with a tilted table in general always, so that wasn't really something I needed. Um, it lies really nice in your hand, it's not annoying, it's just that I prefer the round shape. The Pablo pencils is an oil based, <laughs> an oil based pencil, just like the polychromos. And therefore, I thought this pencil would remind me a lot of the polychromos. And it does on some parts, but not fully. What I love about the polychromos is how well they achieve detail and how well they hold, hold their point. That wasn't really what I saw here. They could certainly add details, yes, but I felt like they lost their point pretty quickly and they were a bit crumbly and therefore a lot softer. But this wasn't necessarily a bad thing. This made them a whole lot easier to blend with solvent or blend on their own. 
and it also made them really 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 great for glazing. The pencils are very pigmented and very very soft. They are quite vibrant and I was actually amazed to see that they were just as vibrant when put down on the paper. I expected them to have a wax bloom because they were so soft but I didn't experience it at all. I tried both blending with solvent and burnishing and it was not a problem. The core is glued to the wood and therefore they don't break and they were extremely durable. I had no issues whatsoever with laying color pencil on top of each other and the colors itself blended really nice when you lay it. Of course the pencils are quite pricey, they're not as expensive as the luminance. They are priced right around £200 on Amazon. And as always with Karen Dosh, you get what you pay for. You pay for the quality that your pencils aren't going to be breaking on you. And the fact that you actually have quite a nice uh, light fastness rating. Okay, so now it's time for my opinion on these pencils as I've used them to create this small drawing here. In general, the pencils have quite a high load of pigment and they lay down very well. I never experienced any of them being scratchy. I felt that in general the colors were either very vibrant or kind of dull. So I'm quite happy I bought these as an addition to my other color pencil set because otherwise I think I'd be lacking some colors. Of course the color selection also depends on what kind of subject you're drawing. To me I draw a whole lot of wildlife and I do not prefer my colors to be super vibrant. I struggled with some of the browns being very red or very blue and it was like I was lacking a middle ground. However, I just loved how soft they were. It was like they went down like butter. Uh, it was really, really, really nice and they were so creamy. I didn't expect that at all from them. So that was a huge plus. They layered really, really well and they glazed great. And that's how I've been using them in some of my other drawings um, to glaze because they work so wonderful with that. So in conclusion, I am very happy with these pencils. I'm very happy I bought them. And if you've been wondering about buying them or adding them to your collection, I would definitely recommend them. I don't think you're going to be disappointed at all. So that's all for this video. I thank you for watching and I hope to see you again. Bye.